Hello there, I'm the favoured Harpooner, and today I'm hunting another Raytheon with the Tusker Sword and Shield. I'm actually going to be using the Gabal armor set to get the affinity. Hopefully the affinity will also affect uh, the boomerangs, since in the last episode they seemed to work pretty fine versus uh, the Raytheon at this stage. Thought I'd try that again, see how it goes. Also, since they pretty much worked fine without having to combine more. I'm not sure, I think I'm going to leave the books behind this time. We'll bring ingredients to combine if it's necessary, but even if there's something turned into garbage, I should get enough. What else can I mention here? Nothing much. Status. I've gemmed in Wim to reduce the break rate of the boomerangs. I've cancelled out the low lowered recovery speed. But I've, by doing that I've also jammed out the faster eating speed, but since I don't benefit from that, as I don't eat meat, it's a good exchange for me. Swimming is no use here, so I'm pretty much relying on these two skills to give me any edge on the fight. Other notes to take account of is the fact that I'm actually a bit more vulnerable to fire, so I have to be extra careful in that regard. Otherwise, oh wait, should bring some meat for Chacha this time as well. Let's do that. And possibly... I think I left the ones... Nope, didn't want to do that. It's a bit annoying when the arrow points to the wrong option. And you just try to spam the A to get through it. But I actually talk to Charcha. Yeah. So he's made five. Well done, stakes during that five uh, fight. That was nice. So. Let's pay for another meal. Any hurler? Ooh, there's a hurler. With a daily skill. And it just comes with Slugger. Maybe we can get it from a different combination. What about these two? I would have been nice with Fire Starter, but... No, Tempest's not going to be used either. Other options? Let's see. At least this one will actually give me some health. Swim and Trainer? No, not really much of an option. This doesn't give any daily skills, unfortunately. And finally, no. These don't do either. So, pretty much can go for this and get an attack boost as well. Now, the task gear itself is not the best option you can go for. You have better swords. Actually, I should put that one away, but it doesn't matter. Got a voucher there. They have either better sharpness, better raw. It's not the best uh, weapon, you can see, clearly see other weapons with better stats. Even the Kuropeko Chopper, even though it's fire, would be a better option just because it has more sharpness than this particular weapon. And a higher raw damage. And I forgot again about these. Should take note. And yeah, let's take those. And possibly those. So let's try to go to five first. Won't be there now. But... Yeah, no, not there yet. Too early. Not off Jagian. Jagian, this area, as usual. For the most part. So let's. That's the boomerang, did I? Did bring them out, did I? Yeah. Mostly quiet. No shadows up here. So yeah, you kind of have to do this until you find her.
Yeah, there she is. And block there. Let's try to go to the cut for the cut first. Okay, only one of those throws hit. It's a bit hard to get the boomerang to actually hit. That one hit the face. Nice. Now, if the affinity works here, we should get occasionally an occasional flash. If we do manage to hit. Of course you can just go for the throw straight. Head on. Now for the sword and shield this actually might be a better way of reaching the tail in general. Since most of the moves from the sword are a bit low. Okay, apparently it's a bit hard to have it thrown upwards with the sword and shield out. Seems to always come out straight for some reason. Okay, she's moving away. And she's moving past two, towards three. Actually, you took her time to descend and go for one of the monsters. Oh, no, that's not the place I wanted to go. Okay, got a flinch there from the tail, so it should be near cutting. Then there's other spots where the tail is just too high. Bad choice of action. Kind of. No. That wasn't necessary, but... Nope, oh, wrong one. No, 
not sure if I'll sit in detail there. Let's try to get them to move away from there. That tall hammer, listen. No, it doesn't. You just keep on stealing. Come on, move out of there. Just don't get why they don't make it easier to aim for up or straight with the boomerang. So if you're pushing the analog stick up while standing, shoot throw it upwards. But if you're dashing doing that animation, you will do it frontwise. And if you just stand in without pushing any analog stick, you will do the same thing. Forward. And there's the cat that we finally got. I hate when it happens with a sword and shield combo that you go through the monster and you end up on the other side. This is going away by the looks of it. Back to two. Interesting. God, did a bite attack there. She's pretty much spamming that attack. Okay, so we've got the face and the tail now for one of the wings. Which I'm not pretty much hitting anywhere. Nice one, Cha-Cha. So now we just need to go for the kill. I guess I should have sharpened him before coming to this area. A bit dangerous now. Ah, oh, no, she's going to hit me. Yeah, I mean, she did it in the worst possible way. Okay, let's see if I can get that off this. I think it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Didn't take that much damage either. Okay, just... And then... Oh, I need to sharpen now. Now it's a must sharpen situation. Okay, she's going for charge shot. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, once you lose the green, you can take 
take that long to reach orange. Okay, nice. Now we can go for the head a bit. Probably should go for the head more. There's nothing really else to break. It's where she takes most damage. Didn't roll fast enough. So far, I didn't notice any critical hits on the boomerang throw. Not sure if I just got unlucky with it. It was just not applicable. And charges bombing mad. Uh. Yeah, shadow's coming this way. Just realised that the paint were ward off. Oh, well, pretty no much know that she's going to eight from here, but just in case. Did I really lose the green sharpness? Or was This particular attack, she can easily aim at you. Whichever way she's facing. It's not something that you can dodge prematurely. You may have to do it right at the moment of the attack. And usually being under air, tends to expose you to this to that attack. There's the, another draw. With monsters, when the roars are close to each other, it well, doesn't take too long. Between roars and raging roars usually indicates that they are weak or low health, like here. Nice flinch, but she's going to go away anyway. So let's head out straight, straight to eight. I remember and tried the original edition of this game. She wouldn't go to 8 straight from 5, she would actually go to 11, fly over 11, and then land at 8. Seems like they're taking out that part. Of course, a bit of confusion early on when you didn't know what she was doing. Okay, I'm pretty much going to kill her now. If I actually hit, as usual, be missing a lot of the attacks. And there she goes. Ah, the trampling attack. Or move more than an attack. I was hoping to get in one more hit before she roared. I 
And there we go. Oh, nice. Timing on that attack. Immediately rolled out of the... Ugh, buggers. The jaggy buggers. And the banara. It's like these minions are only here to annoy you when you're carving the large monster. Oh, much stone at maximum. Oh, it happens. We might as well take some dung as well. I might get my client oil from here, but mostly done. Always handy. Oh, I didn't set the time with the quest. Well, I'm guessing it's pretty much like the one before. And still not much in rewards. What's happening here? Okay. Scales. Nice I'm getting owls. Must have been owls. A few of them. I don't have. Husks I don't need. Talons, nice. Shells will do nicely. I think that's pretty much it. So, this has been the favourite Arpuna, and in the Wraithian with the sword and shield, the tusk gear. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time, and good hunting.